All right, so going upstairs, I have to be careful because they have taken away our little half wall finally. I don't want to accidentally step back through the, the hole, so build a window, window seat there. It won't have anything in there to begin with. And then the kids' desks will go right there. And then that's our room. So big fluffy bed, nightstand, nightstand. Maybe, I don't know, dresser or, or dresser there. I'm not sure. Closet, desk area, and then bathroom. So the bathroom door sh should swing in, I'm hoping. And then sinks, sink, sink. And then toilet, uh, kind of linen closet, medicine cabinet. And then walk-in closet. It's quite a bit of space. Goes around the corner, so that'll be new. Right across from us is Adrian's room. With her window seat that we fought so hard for. got a unique shape because there's this goofy corner that pops out but I think it'll be nice she's gonna have a good view for a while until they finish the townhouses across the street but I think they've got quite a ways to go before they fill all that in her walk-in closet kind of shares the wall with the bathroom That'll be the kids' bathroom. Good luck to them. That'll be a linen closet. And then Eric's room. Which also has a walk-in closet with a window. His room would be really cool if it was like Adrian's and had two windows. But, alas. And that's the laundry room. So I don't think this room even gets a door. Maybe it does. I don't know. That'll be interesting. I don't remember on the model if it does or not. And then this is Parker's room. Until they fill in the house next door and he gets a view of a wall, <laughs> he'll have a pretty dang good view. And his closet's not a walk-in closet, but it's the same square footage. And that is the house in all its glory as of March 27th. So we are one month from being homeless and the house is to a point where I think they could start drywalling. But we'll see what they do. But it's coming right along.